coming in. And away they go. So Rillo in the yellow colours out well. Give me a shot is outside of them in the red and the black colours. Base away is back there at the fence. Express from the US about three or four lengths off the leader while Fief runs behind them. Out of the darkness further back in the field. Willow Express, the grey horse is second last and City by the Sea is the trailer. They're about eight lengths off the leader. They go through the 1200 metre area. That's Cirillo in front. Climbs its way about a length ahead. Give me a shot in a handier second, tugging against the bit in the second spot. They followed by base away. At the rail out there is Wafif, about three lengths off the leader. Express from the US behind them. Then we go back to Willow Express alongside of Out of the Darkness, five or six lengths from the leader. And City by the Seas, the trailer, eight lengths from them. Homeward bound now, they have 800 to go at Cirillo in front. Give me a shot, the favourites in the red nose band or the shadow roll, whatever you want to call it, is in the second spot. Base away is back along the inside. Where Fief runs behind them, Express from the US further back, out of the darkness, got a shake up about four or five lengths off the leader with Willow Express who runs behind them. Give me a shot, allowed to cruise into the lead and sort of do her own thing now. Leads the way by two or three lengths. To base away behind that, Willow Express is the grey, where Fief is back there at the rail. Express from the US still. Give me a shot, the leader, where Fief is trying to wear it down. Express from the US. Give me a shot, Express from the US is lifting in the middle. Express from the US beat where Fief. Give me a shot and Willow Express. Registers the upset in race number six. Comes through past the 200. Tracked the favourite. Give me a shot in the red to the right. And now Express from the US lifts in the centre and starts to run on. Where Fief is there at the rail and give me a shot will do enough for place accumulators. 7654 Provisional Race 6 Turf and Team. Well, it's number seven express from the US that comes through to win for Tyrone Zaki. We heard him giving confidence before the race. Lovely to have Mr. Barnard on course here. And uh, Caden Brewer gets on like a house on fire with this uh, six-time winner. Caden, uh, he's a really good horse. We know that. Uh, you know, maybe a little bit in and out at times, but he's got the ability and you, you seem to read him perfectly. Yeah, 100%. Mr. Zaki offered me the ride last time. I mean, it was actually a very, very good field. And he ran a very nice race. He came to finish two lengths off. Mr. Zaki asked me if I can ride him again. I was very glad he asked me to ride him again. It's a very nice nice horse I have to say and Mr Zaki prepped him perfectly for the race he came out nicely settled and when I asked up he was there Certainly did a nice to have Mr. Barnard and his colours on course here. Uh, have you won for him before? Um, no, I haven't actually won for Mr. Barnard before. It's nice to always have the first one. I always put my name in the good books from now on, and I'm just very grateful to have him here on the course for the special day. Just one question for you. The last race, you've picked up the favourite there. We were discussing off air. Um, could be the right one there. Yeah, 100%. He's always horse that always tries, and off these past runs, I think he'll be right up there. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Caden. Just a big thank you to my sponsors, Luda. I really appreciate the support. Here we go. Well done, Caden. He's about 78, 79 winners for Caden. Mr. Zach, let's get you in here. You love causing these upsets, but you and I were chatting uh, at the weights. It's not actually such an upset. No, I think two lengths behind any horse like Johnny Hera. <laughs> You're going to have a yeah, chance. You know Johnny Hero. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, if you look at the form, there's already two winners from it. Yeah. So it can't well, be. The horses... His last run, Johnny Hera, too, wasn't his run. It's just something, uh, it was something I missed there. Mm. But, but anyhow, I must thank uh, Clive Barnard. Thank you for the nice horses he's given to me. And, uh, you know, he's patient. He, he, he really puts everything <laughs> into his horses. He really loves his horses. And I'm so glad he wanted to give this horse up. And I said, please mm -hmm. don't. I'll get it right for you. And uh, look, today we're on a winner. Well done to you, Mr. Zaka. Uh, I'm always speaking to you, and always a good sign. You're a good trainer, sir. Yes, but I see you keep you 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 actually tipped it. So uh, I'm I'm glad that you do see the form. The form's good. Yeah, it was only one bad race since he's yeah. been with me. Well, the second favourite out of the darkness. Uh, there was nothing between them, and he was at I think four and eighty. Yeah, but it's also a very hot field, you know. So yeah. nobody can go in like put your head down yeah, and absolutely. have a good big bet. But I'd like to thank also my sponsors, Rio Safari, Magdalene, Brenda, Barbara, thank you. And of course, Nadine, 
Thanks, Dad. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure she, she had a little bet on this one. Thank you. Thanks. Mr. Zach, he likes chatting and so do I. We could go on for hours. We don't want to do that. Mr. Bonnet, lovely having you on course and well done. Yeah, thanks. Eh? Thanks. Yeah, he's, uh, he was knocking at the door and I said to you, Tarana, whenever she's retiring, he, he said, no, no, he's, he's maybe one or two still left in him. So, yeah, thanks. I should have thanked Tarana and his old team. Um, he's done a wonderful job with horses. And then also uh, Dickie on the farm. You know, he put so much work into it. Dickie, if you're watching, we, did, we pulled it off today. Thanks, eh? And then also the crew breeders. We only had a handful left in the crew. And um, when I first started breeding, I, and I got stuck with something. I found them, and they were all helpful, and they're always there. So to all the buyers out there, on well, the next sale, look for a crew horse. They, they're well-bred and they're strong, eh? Like this one, I mean, this horse, I, I could almost say he's been disappointing because I think uh, there could have been big, big group ones for him there, and he's been there and thereabouts. Yeah, you know, I think the handicap uh, um, caught him, in, it got him early, yeah, and especially when he ran in the July, it was, everyone said, but I, he was in there and he ran, and he's done me proud, he's done the farm proud, and, um, yeah, he, he, he's, got his, his brother's um, American biscuit, and he's he's knocking at the door too. He's going to win one of these days. All the punters out there, keep your eyes open, eh? Thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Clive Arnold. Well done to uh, Mr. Zaki, and of course, our winning jockey here, and that's Caden Bruin. He's given us a bit of confidence for the last, and uh, yeah, numbers seven, six, five, and four. She is very good. Give me a shot. She's just found some older horses. Giving them weight is not easy. Right, that's uh, race number six. The next one, the big one, the Senior Centre Group Two, coming up next.